So Tom Reed here uh, know, so happened to uh, run into this. So your name, ma'am? Snow. Snow. And Snow, uh, I take these videos and I upload them to YouTube. You okay with that? Yes. Okay. So I put the word out. Uh, you know, I was down here interviewing people, homeless. Uh, I'm assuming you're homeless? Yes. How'd that happen? Um, drugs. <laughs> what? Long story short, drugs. Okay, drugs. All right. <laughs> and how many years has, has this been going on? Uh, about five. About five? Yeah. On and, and off. And in your life, what type of jobs have you had? I was a manager at McDonald's, a store manager at BP, uh, assistant manager at KFC. Okay. And over the course of time, you know, when you made that crossover between working and this lifestyle, was that gradual or kind of happened all of a sudden? Mm, I guess it was somewhat gradual. Okay. Does it suck, this lifestyle? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Not all the time, though, Not right? Not all the time. Do you think you're one of the people that somehow, somewhere are attracted to this lifestyle? Yes, definitely. Definitely. And could I'm you... probably more addicted to the streets than I am the drugs. Yeah, okay, good. I'm glad <laughs> I ran into you. What, could you sum that up as to why? Um, scared you're going to miss something. That's oh, it, isn't it? Excitement. Scared it, you're going to miss something. Like a storm chaser. Every day is something different. <laughs> like a storm chaser, huh? Right. And <laughs> did you know that when you first got out into the streets? Um, I mean, I've been running the streets since I was young, so I guess I just learned along the way. Really? Yeah. And, and, and if somebody offered you, like, a nice place to live and a good job, would you maybe turn it down? I wouldn't sell my soul for it. Thank you. <laughs> so this isn't bad? Not all bad. Not all the time. Okay. Do you, do you have family you keep in touch with? Um, yeah, my kids. Okay. And how they doing? They're good. Okay. Now, I'm assuming your kids know the situation where you're at. Absolutely. Any big deal? Um, I mean, they're disappointing me, of course. They want me to do better. Yeah. I can't really keep my granddaughters because I'm out here, but... Gotcha. Yeah. But you still have open line of communication. Yeah, absolutely. Do you Talk think it's everything. strained because of this or they just understand? Um, they're definitely, it's definitely strained. It is? Yes. Okay. And when you're out here, how does the, as an example, law enforcement treat you? Oh, they really don't mess with me too much, but I'm not going to stay out of the way. Okay. And how about uh, businesses, business owners? Um, they don't really bother me either. I mean, I don't, I don't cause problems when I go anywhere, so. Okay. You're a religion person, though? Um, I'm spiritual, not religious. Spiritual. What do you mean by that, though? I, mean, um, I don't believe in God. I believe there's something, some greater power than all of us, but I don't believe what they taught us. Gotcha. And what would you, uh, what would you think that power may be? Any idea? Does it ever show itself? Um, I'm sure it does. Like meeting me? Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. Bad joke. You're a blessing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Your favorite childhood memory? Um... Hmm. I don't even know. That's hard. All right. It's sad that it's hard. It is sad. I agree. <laughs> You're right. Favorite movie? Um, Crash. Favorite book? It's Coldest Winter Ever by Sister Soldier. Favorite rock group? Aerosmith. Still? Yes. You know, they're going on their farewell tour. Are they? Tour. That yeah. was my first concert I ever went to was Aerosmith. Wow. <laughs> they're still alive. I think Steven Tyler's, what, 76 or right. something? Right. He's getting up there. Would you go and, go and see him if you had a chance? If I could, yeah. You would? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, any questions for me? Um, I don't think so. Uh, you know, I'm going to be getting down here more, so I ask everybody, uh, is there anything you need? Like, people are going to watch and say she seemed really nice. Uh, is there anything she needs? And I don't want to forget to ask. So, next time I come down, is there something I could bring you? Um, house. Right, a whole house. Bring me a whole house or yeah. a car. That'd be great. <laughs> anything you bring me, I appreciate. Any, anything I could bring? <laughs> yes, anything Food? you bring me. My birthday's coming up, so oh, if you wow. come back before well, the 17th. Happy birthday in <laughs> Thank advance. You. Now you're going to be how old? I'll be 41. Wow, you look like a high school kid. Thank you. I don't, I don't get to how all the people look so young. Like the black guy, he looked young. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? Yep. What is My it? daughter just told me the other day, she said, Mom, I want to look just like you when I get older. I, don't I said, what her. do you mean? She said, you don't look like you're old. You I said, I'm not old. She said, I don't mean it like that. She said, you just, I don't want to be, I want to oh, gr age gracefully. <laughs> age gracefully, that's right. And I, I want to ask, how are the kids doing? They're good. Good, doing well, huh? Yep. Good. All right, well, you have a good day. You too. And thank you for the interview. You're welcome.